Hey everyone, this is JoJo and I'm here to do a video for y'all. This is a video of my own personal uh, thing because like I've always been wanting to do this to see if I can read more than certain books in a week. Or mostly not just books, it could be anything. It could be manga, graphic novels, or whatever. Well anyway, so um, I know that people uh, on you. Book two, they had like two. They they had like bookathon. Uh, I think the past month, I believe. I'm not really sure. Or the week, and I missed it because I was kind of late in the game because you know, uh, saw the video late. And I remember recently people had like also have a graphic novel readathon earlier, probably a couple of months or a few months ago, and wasn't able to do that either. I was planning on doing it, but. Yeah, and there was some other, uh, another readathon, like manga readathon from this other YouTuber, but wasn't able because it was, I was still late about it. So hopefully next year I'll be able to, you know, be more, uh, pay more attention and actually be able to participate in these readathons. So I did my own kind of readathon, and this is mostly about graphic novels. That I just want to start reading because I want to get more into graphic novels. And I have too many graphic novels in the library that I haven't started reading yet. And I want to type, uh, to read as many as I can, as I can um, this week. So, uh, not this week, I mean, uh, it's a week-long readathon. Um, this is mostly, I guess you could say it's mostly for people who, uh, who have... Uh, I guess have a, a slow pace in reading, um, or people who like a little busy than uh, other people to not read as much as others or something like that. But yeah, so um, starting on Sunday at midnight, I want to start reading. Um, you know, start reading for a few hours. You know, to um, Sun. Until next Sunday, no, not next Sunday, but till Saturday at midnight. So yeah, that's when it ends. So it will it will start on the. Hold on, I got a calendar here. I wrote it down. Okay. So yeah, it's gonna start on the sixth of Sunday at twelve a.m. and it's gonna end on Saturday the thir the twelfth at twelve a.m. Twelve a.m. Yeah, midnight or eleven fifty nine, something like that. Yeah, eleven fifty nine, not twelve. Eleven fifty nine. So yeah, so most I get a whole week to read these graphic novels, and I even have challenges uh, for these uh, graphic novel. If you want to participate, also if you can, I will link that down below. So yeah, so uh, let's get started. So the first. Uh, challenge is read a Marvel comic trade or well I'm mostly going to read graphic novel if you want to read a comic that's fine too so the first one is read a Marvel comic trade or comic book uh, doesn't matter what kind of uh, Marvel is any Marvel and um, I pick there's actually two Marvel uh, comics graphic novels here I, I want to read the first one is Storm, Make It Rain, Volume 1, and this is by, uh, uh, hold on, by Greg Pak, and, yeah, these are all the names here, if you can read that, my fuzzy, uh, cam, uh, computer camera is just fuzzy. Anyway, I've been wanting to check, read this for a while, still haven't, um, Storm, you can say she's kind of like my favorite uh, Marvel character at the moment, besides uh, Wolverine. Um, I don't know much about the characters as much, except for from the uh, certain cartoons and movies. So I hope to read more of um, of the graphic novel to learn more of the characters and the stories. So yeah, that's one. That's uh, for that. And another Marvel comic is uh, Spider Gwen, Radioactive, Greater Power, Volume. One, and this is mostly about in you know, an alternative universe where Gwen was uh, bitten by the radioactive spider instead of Peter Parker, and is and she became Spider Woman, and 
yeah. And this, uh, I read the prologue of this earlier this year, so I'm starting to read the first volume here. And this is something to do with a, some, um, I don't know what else. It's just her dealing with people. Mostly people just hate her because she, they thought she was the person who killed a certain someone. But yeah. Um, this is by, who is this by? Jason Latour and Robbie Rodriguez. And these are the names for this, I think you can see. Yeah, so, hope to enjoy this. Next is read a DC comic trade. It could be any DC uh, comic or trade uh, paperback uh, uh, series, just the, the either first volume or any volume between. So, if you, whatever. I don't know, just a Marvel comic. Uh, or DC comic, I mean, DC. So, the one I pick is Titans... Uh, volume 1, The Return of Wally West, and this is by Dan Abnett, Brett Booth, and uh, Norm Ratman, and Andrew Bellhaus. Those are the names down here. And these are uh, quite new. These are the DC Universe Rebirth uh, volumes. And I forgot to take the sticker off. I bought this um, at, uh, at my job, uh, I think a couple of months ago. And it was like buy one get two get uh buy two get one free, and this is the free one I got. And I picked this up because it's about Wally West coming back from the uh. Trying to remember what that was the vortex is it the vortex or is it was it like the something else the flash no flash point was it called the flash point or was it the flash something I don't know but yeah I can't wait to get into this because it seems like it's gonna be. You know, I want to learn more about the characters through the comics. Next is catch up on a series that you, you know you re you recently been reading and you haven't been caught up with it yet. So you know, read try to catch up with the latest volumes. If if you, if you read volume one, you can still try to catch up with volume two, three, or whatever. How many you want to read? Or if you already read like at least up to five volumes and you want to read volume six, seven, eight, or something like that. So um, I have two uh, series I want to catch up in. The first one is Rat Queens Volume Three Demons, and this is by hold on by Curtis J. Wibb, I think that and Tess Fowler. Fowler, and here's the names if. I don't know if I can pronounce those. I don't think I pronounced them correctly. And so this is volume three. I heard, I know that the, the art change is different from the first two volumes. But I enjoyed the first two volumes and I hope this volume is, is you no, know, just as good as the first two. I heard some, um, you know, differences. I mean, not differences, but I heard some mix. Uh, views of this volume. I wonder if this is the last volume because it's thicker than the first two, but I'm not really sure. But yeah, hope to enjoy this. The next book um, I need to catch up on is Saga Volume 7, and this is by Fiona Staples and Brian K. Vacon. I don't think I know how to pronounce that guy's name, last name, but yeah, this is mostly sci fi. Uh, I, mean, I don't know if you can call it space opera, but it's mostly about uh, these two characters right here who uh, are from opposing planets, so you can say one's a moon and one's a planet, and they their uh, race are in war with each other, and they fell in love and got a baby together, and now mostly they are like on the wanted, uh, wanted list because... It's kind of like a crime, I guess, to fall in love with each other, and their baby is an abomination, so they mostly, like, running from danger all the time, so. Yeah, and it's mostly about their lives during this complicated time. Alright, so what's next? The next is read a trade that have, wait, no, that's the fourth one, sorry. The fourth one is introduced to a new series, so this is mostly um, a series you want to get into so you can read the first volume and see how you like it or not. So I get two, well, I get well, some, most of these are 
new to me. Some of them. Some of them are new to me. Some of them are not. Only a few of them are not. But most of these are new to me, so my challenge will be done either way. But So these are the main two I really want to get into because I heard some good things and they look interesting. So the first one here is I Hate Fairyland by Scotty Young. And this is by one Madly Ever After. And this is about um, a, a woman, or you could say a person, who... Okay, so this is about an adult who um, is stuck inside a six-year-old body, and they are in fairyland. And I um, don't know what much about it. All I know is that it's very... You can say it's very going to be very violent and grotesque. Uh, it's a lot of... Uh, colorfulness to it and a lot of um you know you can say violence because you see this right here that's like something knocking inside the moon and you see the brain coming out and stuff yeah the art looked interesting the story seemed interesting it just seemed like a fun like an adult kind of cartoon you might be interested uh, i might love to watch on tv so want to check this out the next book I want to check out the series, the first, to be introduced to the new series, is Snog Girl, Volume 1, Green Hair, Don't Care. And this is by Brian Lee O'Malley and Leslie Hung. And this is a uh, about a woman, a young woman, who has green hair and she is known to be, I guess she's been called Snog Girl because she has allergies. And I do not know much about it. All I know is that the art is interesting and is by Brian Brian Lee O'Malley, who created a uh, Scott Pilgrim series, and I love the movie, and I want to check out the manga, so I want to check out his other work, so yeah, here it is. Alright, next uh, is read a trade that had art style that reminds you of a cartoon, so it could be any uh, comic, graphic novel uh, that reminds you of a... Um, cartoon you've seen before or you heard no not really heard of but as long as you've seen the art style it may look similar or just look just remind you of it or something so yeah so the book i pick is um jo jo jonesy or jo i don't know jonesy volume one and this is uh this is how it looks and this is by Sam Humphreys and Caitlin Rose Boyle, I believe, and that's the names. And this re this card this remind me of 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 uh, this actually two cartoons. It remind me of Adventure Time and um, Stevie Universe. I never watch barely watch any of them. I remember watching a few episodes of of Adventure Time because of my brothers and of uh, Stevie Universe because of my brother my younger brother and my friend some of my friends at uh, my university used uh said they loved it too so it uh, i saw the art and this reminded me most of it because of the bushy hair and eyebrows and the way it looks it just seemed like mostly it could be the from the same creators but at the same time maybe not but it just looked interesting do not know what it's about all i know is about this girl who can't who is kind of like cupid she can um she can make uh she can shoot arrows or maybe it makes people fall in love with each other but she can't uh do that for herself in a way so yeah really love the art it's so colorful so yeah next is read a comic set in a world different from ours so the book i pick is monstrous volume one awakening and this is by marjorie Lou or Lee, I don't know, and Santa Takeda. Uh, so the names are up there. Hope you can see that. Yeah, so this is in the world, it's very different from Mars. It's mostly a, in a world where there's a, a war between humans and these uh, beings that have like kind of like part animal or something because I don't know um, much about it. Uh, let's see. Okay, they call the Arcanics or something like that, and uh, you can tell from this picture right here that they are have like certain animal parts. Like, 
animal ears and tails and stuff like that. I don't know if you can call them demons or yokai or whatever, but I'm not really sure. Yokai, you can't really see them. This is very different. Okay, why is this bent? This shouldn't be bent. Why is this bent? No. No. Anyway, so yeah, I really love the art. The art is really nice. And I can't wait. It's a fantasy. It looks awesome, so I can't wait to check this out. Next is a comic. Read a comic set in a different country. So it could be any country that the story set sets into. It could be any country that's not yours. You know, where you live. And I pick uh, Wayward by One String Theory. And this is by... Oh, let me see if I can find... Uh, this is by Jim Zub and Steve Cummings. These are all the names right there. And this is set in Tokyo, Japan. Or Japan. Yeah, J Tokyo, Japan. And I guess this is mostly about this girl who has to move to Tokyo. I don't know, with her mother? Yeah. And uh, she somehow uh, developed some strange powers or something, and she meet other people like her. I really in look love the art here. So the art looked interesting, very vibrant, and um, it seemed like it could be really good and interesting. I hope I enjoy this. Please, I hope I enjoy this. And the next challenge is read a jarn. I hope I'm saying that right. A jarn that's... Wait. John, yeah, read a John that you read the least. So, I like mostly read fantasy YA, even though that's not really a John, that's an audience. Fantasy, contemporary, stuff like that, you know, like a John. So, the one I read the least is mystery. And this is why I picked Goldie Vance, volume one. And this is by Hope Larson, Brittany Williams, and Sarah Stern. Yeah. These are names up there. And I'm guessing this, I'm not really sure what this is about. I'm guessing that this girl right here, she's, I guess she likes mystery. Like she's like solving problems because she got magnifying glasses. And I um, guess she mostly go around uh, solving people's, uh, you no, know, solving people problems like, like a mystery thing. And I guess something is going on at this hotel. Um. Mm hmm. I'm trying to see, yeah, so, yeah, I'm guessing she, they trying to figure out some kind of case, like they detect us or something, I guess something going on, I'm not really sure, but it's a mystery, so it could be interesting, the art look, int uh, look nice too, and it's kind of remind me of a cartoon too, but I don't know which one, but yeah. Enjoy, can't wait to get into this. And the last challenge is my uh, read a graphic novel or comic trade that uh, represents your childhood superhero or about your childhood superhero. So no, mostly everybody has superheroes they lo love when they were children. It could be Superman or Batman or whoever. You can read like one of those or from anyone. And my childhood superhero, I didn't, I didn't know much about the Batman and Superman, and any of the Marvel or DC comic uh, characters. The mostly ones I know is the Power Rangers. Um, so this is why I got the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Volume One, and this is by um, Cal Higgins and Hint. Yeah, don't know how to pronounce that name, but there you go. And this is, of course, about Power Rangers. And I think this is mostly more modern, like, in our uh, time. And they had the same characters. They all look, like, almost similar to, like, you know, the 90s TV show. But it's more modern. And, yeah, I'm going to try to find some art here. So, here's some art of the characters, some of the characters. So, yeah. So, that's awesome. So, um, I want to show you Bulk and Skull. Broken skulls in here too. Uh, let me see. There you go. Here is broken skull right there. So yeah. And I think this mostly had to do with uh the Green Ranger.
because I think he having tr- like just like the episodes where he be having trouble controlling his powers or not have total control of the Green Ranger because of Rita. So this is mostly about that in more modern times and, and it gets a little different. So I can't wait for that. And the art looks really awesome. So yeah. That's all of the challenges. So there's like nine challenges. And it doesn't matter how long, how many graphic novels you read, as long as you can read as many as you want. Finish before the time is up during the whole week. And yeah, I'll post, uh, I will link everything. Well, I will link, not link, but I will write um, the challenges down below. And I will also tell you what time the dates to start if you want to participate. This is mostly a personal uh, readathon for myself to actually try to finish most of these books. But it'd be fun if other people want to uh, to participate if they want. And it'd be fun to discuss some uh, if you like, you know, if you finish a graphic novel or a trade paperback or a comic every day and just discuss uh, something. I'm not really sure how to work or after the marathon is, I mean the readathon is over. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment below, tell me what you think, subscribe, etc. And I hope to see you again soon.